Hey everybody, it's Harry from Slapper Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. If you are in the Los Angeles area and you want to try really authentic Texas slash California style barbecue, if you are on your way to San Diego, about an hour from Los Angeles, you need to stop by San Juan Capistrano to try out my good buddy Daniel Castillo's Heritage Barbecue Restaurant. Danny's been able to realize his life dream to build two specialized offset barbecue pits to create some amazing, amazing California style Texas barbecue. Okay, so this is how you started, right? Yeah. This is your pit. Yeah. Are you a welder by trade also? No. So this was the eight year old, and that's your new one? Yeah. So uh, this guy is in what, uh, in California, who built your pit? Yeah, his name's uh, Drew Brock. His place is uh, called Harper Barbecue. Wow. I just came from Texas and uh, I can swear, I yeah. couldn't tell this from a Moberg, right? Right. It's exactly the same, you know, like a you know, thick and thin design. Right, yeah, it still has the, the Lewis. Yeah. Elbow, yes. Okay. John Lewis style. John Lewis style. Oh, yeah, a lot of people say Moberg, but pretty much goes back to Aaron Franklin too, I mean. Aaron's got his own pit now, right? right. You know, right? Yeah. I heard, right? Every yeah, booth, right. Uh, so, uh, so Insulated? Yeah, insulated firebox. You know, this one's, uh, we just finished cold smoking sausages on okay. this one for tomorrow. Is there enough capacity for your restaurant? No. No, I mean, no. this is way too small, right? Yes. Yeah, so yeah because you can get, what, maybe, what, 40 briskets in here? Uh, we do, since we do all kinds of other things, we do 24, 24. Uh, briskets and we do eight butts and that fills the okay. whole thing okay. up. Yeah. And then um, on the other side, we do about 32 racks of spares on that side. Okay. Uh, we also do turkey and sausage, sausage. and so everything. Uh, everything out here, right? Yeah, yeah. everything's on there. So you, this then, is your crew, right? This is your pit yeah. master? Yeah, Hi. no master. No? <laughs> he, he's, uh, Far he's, from it. Pit, pit crew, we say. Pit crew, yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. And uh, and then we fire up the 500 on the weekends for the beef ribs. Beef ribs. Okay, man. Yeah. So great. I came at a, at a perfect time, you know. Yeah. Go yeah. Gorgeous weather, man. Yeah. And then with the COVID, we're outdoors, so you don't have that problem with yes, everybody sir. sitting indoors, right? Yes, sir. Do you, how, how hard was it to get this approved? Uh, it, it took us over a year and a half to get a it year and approved. A half. And I worked with, uh, with the engineers, uh, Orange County Health Department. Yeah. Uh, and basically, it boils down to it's just that little sticker right there. That's it. Which one is that? The one right next to that little plate. Yeah, that this sticker here. See it over there. Right here. Yep. So this is a year and a half of blood, sweat, and tears, and a lot of tears. A lot tears. of money. A lo oh, a lot of money. A lot of money. Paid for this. This is expensive pad pad and shed. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot of money in this. You know. This is, uh, there's two types of certification for this. So it's NSF and then ANSI. ANSI. So the, the, what, I've never seen a pit certified NSF and ANSI. Yeah. You, are, you are like the first in America. Yeah, uh, probably. Probably. You're gonna, you're gonna go, you gotta go back on the Guinness Book of Records, right? That you were <laughs> able to overcome state and federal bureaucracy. And then they told us that we couldn't do that uh, for fire reason. There was, uh, there was some people, uh, that actually reached out. Well, Mike and Mark Black from Terry Blacks, they're uh -huh. having some issues in Dallas. Yes. So it's just certain cities, even in Texas, uh -huh. where, you know, Houston. Houston, and every city know. is having these challenges now, right? right? But, it's, yeah. but not in Austin for some reason. We actually had to go through three different changes on how we were going to do this. So oh, originally wow. it was supposed to be fully enclosed. Our local health department spoke with the state of California. The state says, no, we'd rather it be like this. Wow. And then though, how come there's no fire suppression? Uh, so I'm, shocked they, I'm shocked they let you do that. Yeah, right? we have, you know, yeah. fire hydrants. Fire hydrant there, but I'm, know, I'm shocked that they, they actually let you build a open fire yes. area without yeah, any have, fire suppression. We had to follow like, you know, three feet three this feet. way, a uh, uh, certain amount of footage between yeah. the two mm -hmm. and all around the whole, the units. Uh, and then, you know, we don't have any type of, uh, yeah, any type of wood above us mm -hmm. or overhead. Yeah. Uh, and so, then the yeah. venting is also, yeah, the, the tree is far enough away. Yeah, everything's yeah. far enough away, yeah. So your pit maker, basically, this is his design. He makes 1,000 gallons, he just made it for you. Yes, so him and I uh, had to go through multiple inspections, mm -hmm. first with the engineers okay. yeah. uh, for NSF and ANSI, yes. and then the final certifications. They had to be in place, yes. mm -hmm. and uh, there's certain things that are on this pit yeah. that are a certain way for food service. I'll I just see. leave it at that. Leave it at that, but, okay. uh, yeah, so after we had the final inspection, that was the toughest thing. 
Um, and we, we passed with the flying colors. So. Wow. Which I, we built this restaurant around not knowing uh -huh. If that if this was gonna wow pass. you like you're like so you're a gamble. Las Vegas style uh, <laughs> slot machine arts right I mean you you just basically gangbuster build the restaurant and you weren't sure so if this is not gonna work were you gonna go get an oiler get an old hickory Probably, yeah and then heavy indoors like everybody else right yeah but you know I, I think that there's something magical about offsets yes that even if you use an oiler it's not the same. Right. Right. And I think you know the difference. You you, you tasted it and there's no substitute, right? Yeah. Now, for, for wood, what, what do you guys do for wood? That's California white oak. Yes. Get it from, uh, it's called Dave Schultz Firewood. Yes. We're here off 241 Portola. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, they only do two types of wood, so it's actually mm -hmm. more inexpensive. Cheaper, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then so. it, it burns like post oak, Texas, uh, Central Texas post oak, about the same. Very similar. Slightly. Mild. Um, the flavor is, is very similar, but I think the, the scent of it is, uh, is a little different. Uh, okay. Post oak, I, you know, the way it yeah. is. You go mm -hmm. into Texas, mm -hmm. it, you just know the smell. Yeah, the smell. It's very yeah. distinct. Yes. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, we get a cord every Friday. It lasts us for the week. We're open five days. Five days, wow. Wednesday okay. through Sunday. Yeah, this is a back-breaking task, right? Yeah. 16 hour days. And, yes. uh, are you up to it or you have people? No, I well, my guys, they're, they're here to help me. Okay. And then I have a, a chef in the kitchen that takes care of all okay. the sides. All the sides, and, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. does service for okay. us. And so I just, you know, walk in between everybody and check everything and make, make sure it's everything's up to standard. Tuesday, we start cooking for Wednesday. Wednesday, okay. So you, you have a night crew and a day crew? Yes. So this thing is lit all night long? Oh, uh, no, that's, yeah. it's down for a few hours. Right. So if I'm uh, feeling uh, hankering, I, I should take a drive from my diamond bar, drive by here at night yes. and uh, <laughs> see the smell. There's, there's nothing in California that's like you drive by, you see a pit, a pit master and the smoke. Yeah. That whole thing is gone. Yes. Uh, and then it's nice that at least I know one location that it, it exists. Yeah. Right? So, you know, kudos to you, man. Thank I, you. I, 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 uh, you. You're living the dream of all of us. Pit barbecue people. Yeah, it's a little, you know, it's to a, be able to actually cook outdoors in a pit in California with open fire. Right. Probably five times harder than doing it indoors using Southern Prides or yes. whatever else you're yes. using, uh -huh. oilers or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, but it's in the end, it's worth it. The product is product is uh, different. It's yeah. a it's a superior. It's a it cannot be replicated. The offset, the, the you know yeah. the bark, you know yes. all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just there's yeah. it's only. So way you guys are doing it. your own seasoning or are you doing SMP? Uh, SMP SMP uh, for the brisket. Yeah. Um, all right so okay. we got our uh, pulled pork and the pulled pork we actually uh, smoke that for a few hours in little cubes and we confit it in uh, the tallow from the brisket. Tallow, okay. Um, and then so we have our Frito Pie sausage. Wow, and Frito Pie sausage. This Frito is, Pie sausage. This is the recipe of we your We make own? them in-house, yes. In-house here? You yeah. make sausage right here? We do. Wow, yeah, We have okay. a butcher that fabricates all our proteins for us every day. Wow. Um, this is, uh, so we do our pickles here and then we use the juice. Juice? Um, to marinate the uh, turkey in. Turkey, yes, uh-huh, okay. okay. And then we have our beef brisket, a little lean, a little fatty for you. Okay. Our pork spare ribs. Pork spare ribs. And this is a Hawaiian mac salad. Hawaiian mac salad, like a good old, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know, Hawaiian style. Yeah. With that heavy on the mac on the right. mayo, best food mayo. Yeah, and we, <laughs> yeah, and we actually put uh, furikake in there too, and there's, okay. so that's why you see the... It's a little Asian, Asian yeah, twist, beautiful, exactly. it's a beautiful, yeah. Um, hot mustard, hot mustard, bourbon barbecue, All right. pickled onions, there's little burn ends right there, and okay. there's a Frito Pie Mac. Frito Pie Mac, very, very Texan. Yes. Very, very. Are you from Texas? No, my family's from Arlington. Yes. I'm a California boy. Oh, so you born, born, born and raised here. here, but yeah. you have a lot of roots. Yes. Oh, good for you, man, good Thank for you. you. Yeah, my, my friends in Texas will be proud of you, man. You Thank really, you. you really replicated the entire Texas repertoire here. All, all yeah, of the have, burn ends yeah, and everything. Yeah, we make our own bacon here and some pickled uh, uh, eggs on top. Yeah. We use all the Fat. trimmings. Yeah, we use all the trimmings from the brisket, brisket. and from the uh, pork ribs to pork make ribs. our sausage. Okay, and then the, it's, a, it's a beef and the pork mix. It's a beef and pork mix. Okay, like what, 70-30-ish? Uh, uh, it's about, yeah, 70% 30, 30. beef, 30% yeah. pork. I, yeah. I, I like it with more pork. Right, uh, right. It's got the fattiness. Yeah, we all. use, you know, we'll add more fat. Uh, yeah, all beef sausage doesn't work for me. Yeah. Doesn't have, <laughs> unless you put a lot of filler. I like in the, the texture. Yeah, the texture, they, 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 they put a lot of like, you know, like, like uh, what do you call it, like milk powder and 
it's not not the same. Right. right. So so pork sausage is the way to we go. do. So when people bite into it, they don't get the snap. Being at a, being yeah, at a, personally, we we do this because usually people share it, yeah. but I like to snap them snap too. It, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But the, 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 the presentation is beautiful, man. Thank you. Yeah, excellent, excellent. All right, well, enjoy the food. Okay. So you're probably wondering what this fantastic spread tastes like. It's absolutely amazing. It looks like uh, Danny has been able to recreate the flavors of Texas right here in sunny California with his uh, offset pits and a really great rendition of all of the classic barbecue meats like the uh, brisket, burnans, turkey, pork ribs, the pulled pork, and the uh, jalapeno style sausage. I tasted his sauce, also he gave you a little bit of a uh, North Carolina style mustard sauce together with his standard barbecue sauce and the sides of the mac and cheese and the uh, potato salad and the Frito pie here is absolutely amazing. So thumbs up to Danny for putting out such a great spread. Uh, thanks for you know for him for giving me the food. Uh, even though he bought me lunch, uh, it did not affect my review. If you guys are in Southern California, please stop by. Check out Heritage Barbecue in beautiful San Juan Capistrano.